Right, I'm going to finish off with this one. Um, this is a song called The Rabbit's Proof Fence. <coughs> my, uh, my, step, my youngest stepdaughter lives in Australia. She's officially in Australia now. She's been out there for eight years. And we went out last September to visit. And Paul, who's a grain farmer, um, Emma's partner, took us round, because uh, it was a wildflower <laughs> season, he took us round to see all these wildflowers. So we went down all these dirt tracks through all this... Uh, this red dust and everything. And we were just sort of driving along. Every time we got out of the car, the heat hit us. It was in the, in the high 20s then, it was still only spring. And we were attacked by flies, thousands of flies. Couldn't get rid of them, dreadful. And I, and I, I got to thinking about this rabbit proof fence and about the, uh, the men who built it. Um, it was all caused by a man called Thomas Austin, who in the, uh, in the 1850s re released some rabbits because rabbits were taken over to be used for, for meat and they were kept uh, captive. But, so he decided it was a good idea to release them so that he and his mates could have some shooting fun. And you know what rabbits are good at? <laughs> so in 50 years, by the early 1900s, they were eating all the crops. So the, uh, the Western Australian government decided they would build this fence right from the top of Western Australia, all the way down to the bottom, a distance of about 2,000 miles. And it took um, six years to build it. And I just thought about the, the hardships of the men. So it's got a chorus, actually, if you want to exercise your vocal cords, because I'm sure you'll have some more choruses coming up you can join in with. So, uh, Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. When I'd done this song, I, I sent a copy to my uh, stepdaughter and her partner, and, uh, and um, Paul said, should be bloody. <laughs> should be bloody fence but I, I like blooming so I kept it as blooming everything. <laughs> so give it a go anyway I'll start with the chorus Blast those flies, hard earth and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Cross the state from north to south, mesh fence to keep out pests. Four inch posts, twelve feet apart, split white gum is the best. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Work is tough, the sun it burns. We dig with pick and shovel, dusting lungs from dry red dirt and sweating like the devil. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Camels, horses, donkeys too, all have played their role. Deadly snakes and bushfires, lack of water took its toll. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Rabbits, emus, dingoes too, the mighty kangaroo. Port Headland down to Esperance, no creature will get through. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard air and darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Six long years we laboured on, six long years of hell. As monument to all our toil, the rabbit fence stands still. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and on great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Damn this heat and blast those flies, hard earth and the darn great rocks. We've got to build this blooming fence, keep rabbits off the crops. Damn this heat and blast those flies. That's okay.